Okay, we're gonna do a, just a quick little video on how this microphone works. There's some top buttons here. It's plus and minus and then on and off. Plus over here, minus here. Uh, if you press the prompt plus key, this is General 4G Monitor 3100. That will change the channel. Okay, so that's what it, way it's supposed to work. There, now we're on APRS. And then we go back to a different channel. So I'm gonna go back. See, there's a delay. This is not going to be super fast, okay? Now, to change a zone, you would change the, use the up and down arrow keys. Again, it's a little slow. Okay, we'll go back up to the other zone now. Now, there's three keys on the side of the microphone, and they are function keys, one through three, PF one through three. They have a short and a long. So I happen to have the uh, P PF1 set to switch between main and sub. Oh, missed the thing. That's sub-channel off. That was two. Sub-channel on. Switch between parrot. What the heck? Let's see here. N6 DMR. N6 DMR testing parrot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's working. Now, um, I don't understand why we uh, have this switching of, uh, of uh, like, somebody coming in at 3100 when they key up. Uh, evidently, digital monitor must be on in the radio. I'm going to have to check that, but I thought I'd give you guys just a quick uh, overview of this mic. It is working. Uh, if, you, if you check your menu here, there's some settings that you can do. Okay, my 4G monitor 3100. And you get down to settings here, radio set, key functions, and there's some of your key settings there. I set the short one to main. Uh, I set P2 short to sub channel on and off. So as you can see, it works very similar to the display. There's definitely a delay uh, when you're trying to communicate. Uh, there's also a cable that comes with it um, that connects to the radio, and you can have like a 12-foot RJ45 to it. The one negative, it does not turn the, the actual radio on and off, so that's something that's going to have to be uh, discussed. Uh, right now, if you were going to connect this to the battery direct like you're supposed to, there'd be no way to turn it on and off. The radio could be under the seat, and it would still be on. I think there, there's room to uh, modify that, so, um, you know, I mean, I don't think that, that these are issues that are not, um, so they can be su survived here. So, anyway, there's a, a, a 3100. Um, let's see if we get anybody to uh, come up while I have this radio on real quick. Guess not. So, okay, on the side of it, um, very interesting, there's a C connector for charging, USB-C. There's your uh, microphone and uh, uh, earpiece. And then uh, there is a place for what looks like a micro SD card. I don't know if that's real or not. I have to take a flashlight to it. Okay. Again, on the other side, there's push to talk, PF1, PF2, PF3. All right. So, and then this is where the microphone would go in. Um, okay. So that's kind of like a quickie. Uh, I thought you guys might want to see this. Uh, this is definitely a beta. This one uh, has got a lot of scratches on the screen, and uh, I got it DHL. It took a while to get here. Echo sent it just before she went on vacation. Um, so anyway, uh, this is the Bluetooth uh, microphone. Uh, good luck with uh, uh, getting pricing and availability now. That's our next step. Take care. This is Dwayne, N6DMR.